Hey there, it's Mark. Thank you for tuning in to Mr. Grooves. I'm going to take a look at these two models which came out of the 2020 Hot Wheels case. They are not new models. The three new models were these three right here. By the way, uh, I moved tr truck on Tuesday. I had moved it to Mr. Grooves, but this truck right here, I don't know if you've seen it. This is definitely more for kids. So I put this truck on Tuesday video over on Race Grooves. So if you'd like to check that out, you would not have gotten a notification if you're subscribed because I designated the video as made for kids because when you see the truck, it's made for kids. You can collect it if you want, but to be honest, it's more made for kids. Land Rover Defender 90. This is new for 2020 and it made its first appearance in the L case. I'll just give you a quick, I shouldn't do this. I'm not, here we go. You can see it right there. I showed this in the case unboxing video. Uh, I, I, I didn't have my turntable in the way. Alpha Pursuit is a new for 2020 model. First appearance in the in the L case. Yeah, see this was a bad idea. I should have just put pictures right there, but uh, not enough uh, uh, not enough time to do that. 2019 Kia Stinger GT. A lot of people are liking seeing this model in the mix. New for 2020. First appearance in the L case, which brings me to these two cars that were in the L case. I pointed out the wheels that were on this TV Batmobile. Those wheels were actually introduced in the Cool Classics line. And today I'm gonna to show you a bunch of the cars that I opened up from that series. Here's a sampling of the cards. By the way, they did the funny thing to where they had two different card uh, graphics. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> that's, never mind. And before Cool Classics was just the classics. Those definitely were made to resemble vintage Hot Wheels packages. Here's a couple original Hot Wheels Red Lines that were introduced in the, uh, the Hot Wheels Red Line era. They have Spectra Flame paint. In the back, you have the Beach Bomb. In the front, Beatnik Bandit. The bodies of the cars were highly polished. And then they used a, a thin, shiny color paint. They call it Spectra Flame paint. And this was definitely the, the bomb. And that's why when these came, bomb, <laughs> beach bomb. These, when these were introduced, you know, Matchbox was the uh, top brand as far as I know. Matchbox was cool, but, uh, you know, maybe they were kind of dated. When Hot Wheels came out with these red lines, shiny, colorful graphics, and these wheels were fast. When Mattel brought out the classics, that's the effect that they wanted to give. That uh, Spectra Flame type paint. And they did the same thing in the early days of the Hot Wheels Red Lines. They had lots of colors. Some colors were more popular than other colors. I, I don't mean, to, yeah, popular, but what I mean to say is that when, when Mattel would make cars, they, they wouldn't paint them all in the same color in the early day, uh, in the same amount, I should say. So, you know, when they were doing the, they had so much, when they had paint in the hopper, they would paint cars, they would paint uh, so many beaten at bandits, paint so many beach bombs. So sometimes some of the early red lines, you know, like the, maybe this color would be super hard to find because they didn't make that many or maybe kids beat up that color. I don't know, especially pink, right? So that's what they did with the cool classics. Uh, cool classics? No, classics. That's what they did with the classics. By the way, these did have a metal base, metal base, metal body. They had uh, special tires. They are not bent actual suspension. The 32 Ford in the Classics line had multiple colors. I don't know if I have all the colors. I just grabbed these out of my uh, Jammers case. And of course, uh, Jammers, uh, my containers, I have links in the description. I'm not sure if they are still available on uh, Amazon or not. But remember, I'm here to talk about the cool classics. These were the regular classics. Spectra Flame type paint. Well, the cool classics, they had Spectra Frost paint. And a pretty cool treatment. Same thing, metal base, metal body. But they introduced these new Slot 5 wheels. This TV series Batmobile is in the assortment in 2020, but it's not the first car to use these tires this year. As a matter of fact, on my Race Crew's Instagram account, I showed a Corvette Stingray that had these wheels as well. So I'm curious 
what cars are going to get him. I definitely noticed the wheels on the Batmobile, but I didn't even realize until I was putting the cars away, this bad, uh, that's all I can say. The 69 Ford Mustang Boss 302 looks great in black, but it had the it has the slot five wheels as well. I'm only gonna remember the name of the tires today because I don't really pay attention to the names. I just like what I buy and buy what I like. And this one right here has the same wheels. They just didn't chrome the hubs. So I didn't even notice. I really should wait to open this up, but I want to do it today. And then uh, right after, I'm going to show those models right there of the cool classics. Let's open it up. 69 Ford Mustang Boss 302. Nothing on the back. It's not going to give any information on the back because it is not a new model. It'll just have a generic information back there. Let's crack it open. And, oops. I tried to be careful and it got stuck in my hand. Very glossy black. It's, it has light just reflecting on it all over the place. Oh, check it out. Headlight decorations. And it does have graphics on the hood. We'll let you have a look at that. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice that in when it was in the blister. It has a swoosh going across the hood. To me, I think that's going to be intentional. But if you find one in the store, or maybe by the time I get to my next case, I think it's intentional because it's actually on the package. Look how glossy that is. You can see my arm. <laughs> Anyways, uh, there are your slot five wheels. SLT5, that's the uh, name given them to them. I, I'm pretty sure that's the official name. I don't think, oh, didn't call my hair. I'm pretty sure that's the uh, official name. I don't think that's a nickname. Wow. I didn't even see that in the video either when I did the unboxing. I looked at the glass and on the because on the blister it shows uh, on the card it showed it on the glass and it does have the RTR or whatever that is. I think it's RTR vehicles. It's right there on the glass. By the way, only a driver's seat. So it's a racing car. It's for racing, I presume. Otherwise, why would they only put uh, one seat, eh? There's the RTR on the package, RTR vehicles. And right here, you can see RTR on the glass with the Hot Wheels logo. And it does have somebody's autograph or signature. I'm not sure who that is. I asked the same question in my case unboxing video, but I have not published it, so I, I don't know yet. And here, it shows it right on the glass. Uh, on the package, there is the decorations. And look right there. There's that triangle that we've seen on the hood. Hey, thanks for sticking around. The name is not on the base of this uh, customized Volkswagen model. I'll put it on screen. When I go to edit, I'll put the name on the screen because it's not on the base. Beautiful color. And again, there's those wheels. By the way, some of the cars did have uh, opening features. So there is the opening feature. Does it have a, uh, I don't see something to prop open the body. So I'll just kind of sit like this. There you can see inside. There's the driver's compartment, the safety roll cage, the engine, and whatnot. Oh, now you're going to stay open. Now we'll just give it a spin. It's not centered. Now we'll give it a spin. I don't know if that's perfectly centered. We'll see. There you go. Wheelie bar in the back. Uh, what's next? Amphicar. I'm not sure if Amphicar has been in the basics yet. It's only had like a couple uh, adult collector releases. So Amphicar, it's a, it's a car in a boat. So in the back you have the uh, rudder. It's based on a real car. So there you have the rudder in the back. Of course your mo motor for uh, powering. And you see the front, how it's curved like that. So it's like a boat. And they call it the Amphicar, amphibious car. There's a look at Amphicar. And it'd be nice if this was uh, used for downhill racing, but because of this sticking out right here, kind of rub rubs when you're going in the slope. The transition between the gravity slope and the straightaway. Straight pipes, not uh, exactly a fan of this car, but boy does it look great with this paint treatment and those wheels. It has a metal body, and I believe it has metal base, yep. Metal base. This part going off around off the roof though. This is. I don't want to break it. Wait a second. Pretty sure it's plastic. Hold on. 
I'm pretty sure it's plastic because of how the engine looks. It looks like it is the vacuum, the VOOM uh, treatment, how they turn plastic parts and make them chrome. That's how it looks. But uh, I can't lift it because I think this, uh, the, the pipe that's on the roof, I think that's actually attached to the car. So I can't, I can't move it. Shelby Cobra Daytona. Again, not exactly a car that I collect, but it looks fantastic in this decoration. And at the time I was buying the cases and doing the unboxing videos. I will leave links to the cases in the description below if you'd like to see how they came out of the case. And some cars, mm, I think there were three each for each car, but uh, they had like car variations where it was a different color. Mm, you can watch the video and find out. Custom V8 Vega, I have not talked about this in quite some time, I don't recall, but longtime viewers will know the Chevy Vega was my first real car, the first car I ever owned. I think it was a 76 or 77. Now that I'm over 50 years old, it escapes me. That was already uh, 30 years ago. So metal body, metal base. Let's look at the base, nice and shiny. Oh, see, now you can know the produ production code. F26. So if uh, 2008 would have been A, so A, B, I think F would be 2013. So this is definitely very cool to have in my collection because uh, I used to drive a Chevy Vega. Definitely like that one. 67 Shelby GT500. And this one I'm talking about with the Spectra Frost paint. paint just looks fantastic. Really just the, the Spectra Frost paint. Some of these models are, are worth a little bit of money nowadays. I think originally these were like $3.50 or $4. But people are like, oh, I don't want it. It has plastic wheels. I don't want it. But I love plastic wheels because plastic wheels, they always look great. It's not like rubber tires to where after a while they might crack. Or if they have like uh, pinstriping, it starts looking a little wonky. 85 Honda CRX. I'm not saying. I buy rubber tired cars too, okay? But uh, I'm definitely more of a plastic tired collector. By the way, 85 Honda CRX. This was the first release. Uh, it was not in the. It was never a new model in the basics. They introduced it in the Cool Classics line. It had this uh, two-part body. That part's plastic. The top part is metal. So when they made it uh, two-part like that, they were able to give it a separate, uh, kind of a distinct look, a two-tone look. But now, now that they moved it to the basics, it's just one body part, I believe. It's been a. Uh, I'm, it, they changed it. <laughs> they definitely changed it. I was looking in the front. Uh, it has the uh, plastic. The windows come down so it gives you plastic headlights. And there you have a look at the Honda CRX. 55 Corvette. Look at the reflection. That's what I'm talking about. The Spectre Frost was fantastic. They introduced the wheels with this line. Uh, so it was a great line to collect. For me, I really loved it. But to be honest, at retail, uh, I guess it didn't sell very well. Not well enough for it to continue. I think it only went for like two years, and that was it. Uh, they try to get things to go at least three, but mm, modern days, to be honest, if you get if you get two or three years, you're you're doing pretty good. Let's put it on the other side. There you go, '55 Corvette. All right. So you wanted to see a Mustang? Here you go. 84 Mustang SVO. This was a pretty unique color in the line. It's kind of lavender, purplish. I'm not sure what to call it. But uh, it's quite unique in the line. No tail light decoration. I guess maybe then that's another reason collectors didn't like it because they want the real cars to have decorations on all sides. Well, look what happens. Now, now to put decorations on all sides, it cost us $5.50 at retail. So, mm, yeah, this line did not get decos on all sides. But it did get metal body, metal base, and these cool slot 5 wheels. Here's another Mustang. Oh, yeah, guess what? Back then, <laughs> still had the opening hood. I don't know if I could show the engine. Let's see. A little tricky to get in and show the engine. But there you can see the engine. It's not rare. They were all released like this. 
I'll get questions here and on Instagram, people would ask, you know, hey, is it rare because it has this or whatever that is? And it's like, no, that's, that's, it was always released like that. It's not rare. And so same with this 65 Mustang. They were all released with the opening hood until um, a few years ago. I did a video talking about that too. A casting change video. I have a casting change playlist too, as a matter of fact. I think this was a Mustang II. The name's not on the base. I'm not positive. It is a Ford model. I just don't recall. I don't have the name of it committed to memory. Thousands of Hot Wheels cars. I can't, I can't, I just can't remember them all. Ford logo on the back. There's your metal base. 63 Plymouth Belvedere 426 Max Wedge. Here's a nice heavy car. It's a bit longer. Metal body, metal base as always. It might not be a good downhill racer though because uh, the wheels in the front are kind of narrow compared to the rear tires or rear axle. I don't recall it having an opening hood. Uh, nope, no opening hood, but it does have the uh, locks. Nice, it's kind of an orange color. Very nice. And that glow from the spectral frost. Yep, yep, yep. Love this line. I put all my red lines in a red lines playlist. Don't forget, if you want to see that truck, it's in, it's in my Truck and Tuesday playlist, but that video is not on Mr. Grooves. It's on Race Grooves. And I think I'll go ahead and make a playlist with the cool classics. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting. Bye-bye.